In this video I'm going to be demonstrating the basic functions of an oscilloscope and using the basic controls of this oscilloscope. And I'm only going to be using one channel. Now here is the intensity control. That's where I can bring up, make the uh, signal on the screen brighter or dimmer. This control will focus the screen or the signal on the screen. This is the time base control and where that is set is depending on what we want to see and also the frequency of the signal. This is the horizontal position control so we can move the trace from side to side. This is the internal sync switch which helps us lock on a signal very very useful and this control is the trigger in other words the level of signal needed to sync up the signal to the time base and on the left hand side this is the input to channel 1 this control is like a volume control for the screen. In other words, we can increase or decrease the signal, which makes the signal appear larger or smaller on the screen. We're going to have the scope in AC mode. That means that we're only going to be looking at AC signals uh, no DC signals. And this control will move our trace that's on the screen vertically up and down. A few YouTubers wanted me to go through uh, some more basics on oscilloscopes and they are very useful and here I'm turning up the intensity knob. We also have a focus knob here. And I'm only using one channel. I'm going to uh, move this up toward the center of the screen like that. And now I'm going to turn the time base That slowed it down. I'm going to increase the time base. And I'm also going to bring up the intensity. Ah, now we can start seeing a signal here. Some more very useful. Uh, controls. Here's the horizontal. Put it about in the middle. And this is the sync signal. Now it's not in sync. Okay. Now when it clicks like that it's supposed to be calibrated. bring this back up in sync. There we go. Okay, now I can also increase the amplification with this knob here. I've got it in AC mode. 
I almost always use the scope in AC mode. If I'm going to be working with DC, I usually use a voltmeter. And here, as I increase the time base, it increases the waveform. Now, I'm going to increase the signal generator in frequency. And as you can see, as the frequency increases, the cycles get closer together. And I'm going to bump it up by 10. And I'm going to bump it up by 10 again. Well, if you're not sure, it won't hurt, you know, to move the time base in either direction. There we go. Okay. Without the sink, it it would be pretty difficult to uh, see what's going on. I'm going to turn the sink off right there. And with that, you would have to very, very, very carefully move the center knob. And you can see that it's really difficult to do. What the sync does is it sends back a little bit of the signal into the amplifier so it can lock on the signal, which is very nice. And of course if I go in the other direction, I'm going to lower the frequency. I've got to lower the time base to see what's going on. Okay. I'm also going to change that to square wave. Same frequency. I'm increase that a little bit. But all we see there we go, that's a little bit better. There's a square wave and you can just barely see that there's just a little bit of a curve on these surfaces here on the square wave. And you can really increase that. And let's see, let's move that over. And I can increase the intensity so we can actually start to see that line. So the focus and intensity also can help you with getting a good picture of that wave. Okay, now I do have a radio, and I'm going to uh, hook up uh, some couple of points in a working radio. It happens to be a tube radio, portable. Now, when in doubt, I always turn this down, and now I'm going to disconnect the generator and hook up the radio. Okay, now I'm going to turn the radio on. Okay. Now 
Okay, let me move this back center again. Okay, here's the diagram of this radio. And also, this is the point where I have the oscilloscope hooked up to. And what we're looking at is modulated 455 IF intermediate frequency. And here I've increased the time base because uh, 455 is KC is rather high. But if we wanted to see the audio, we'll bring it back down into the audio frequency like this. Turn up the volume a little bit. Okay, I can also increase this a little bit more. Again, if we want to see the carrier at 455, increase the time base. And this is without sync. It'd be almost Im really impossible to use the scope this effective without the internal sync. So you can grab that signal. Now we'll go back down to the audio again. Okay, so this is modulated 455 KC. Now I'm going to try and locate just the audio. Let's see. Let me turn this down here a little bit. Let's see, that's it. Okay, now this is just audio here. There we go. We should be co co cooperating with all of our friends and, and allies all around the world to find out where he is. This is on the center part of the volume well, control. I, I don't understand what the, why there's any debate about this. This man is not a... And when I go up to 455 KC, you can see that there is no IF frequency there. It is strictly audio. Okay, let me turn that down. I hope this quick demonstration gives you an idea of what a powerful tool an oscilloscope is in troubleshooting electronic circuits.